So, after we learn how comparator works, we can easily make a fan turn on and off based on temperature just using some basic electronics component without microcontroller or Arduino. Imagine a simple device that can turn on and off the heater at certain temperature or turn on the lamp at certain level of light or even turn on the pump at certain distance without using microcontroller or Arduino. What we need with this basic electronics component? Yes, you need a comparator. For an example, I will Google search with keyword temperature auto on off schematic and here's what I got there is comparator here and again here's comparator and here's comparator again and there is comparator again and here's comparator again and yes, uh, this triangle is called comparator. I know that there are so many theories about comparator out there in internet, YouTube, and even at university. But sometimes it's just too many theories and we don't really know how to implement these things. So, in this video, I will explain just a little about theories and let's just get our hand dirty by practicing the theory. There are some kind of comparator. They are non-inverting comparator, inverting comparator, and window comparator. Okay, let's start with a comparator symbol. This is the comparator symbol. It has two input, that is positive input and negative input. The positive input will be your voltage you want to compare and the negative input is the reference. When your voltage input is more than voltage at a reference, the output will be high. This called as a non-inverting comparator because it will give high state when the input voltage is more than the voltage reference. Without trying to make you confused, if we just have one power supply, then for an easy example, we can set the reference voltage using half of voltage supply by putting two identical resistor in series. Let's say I have two pieces of 1K resistor, so the voltage in the middle of resistor become half of VCC. This is the basic of voltage divider. And here's the formula. If you want more detail about voltage divider, we can make another video on this. Look at the diagram. The top is V input and the bottom is V output. So when the V input that is red reach more than the 2.5 volt, the output will go high. And when the input is below 2.5 volt, the output will go low. Here's the logical formula. If V input more than V reference, then the output will high. That's what non-inverting comparator did. Easy, right? And then, how about inverting comparator? So, like its name, maybe you can guess how it works. The inverting comparator will invert the output. It will output the low voltage or zero voltage if the voltage input is more than voltage reference. But, we have to swap the voltage input and reference pin. So, the input voltage connected to the negative input and the voltage reference is connected to the positive pin. Now, 
Every time the input voltage reaches more than the voltage reference, the output will go low. And when the voltage input is less than the voltage reference, it will output the high state. And here's the logical formula. And now, the last theory before we got to practice is the window comparator. This comparator is basically combined the non-inverting and inverting comparator. So, it will need two reference voltage and able to output high at certain voltage input. So, here's the diagram. This comparator need two comparator to work. The first comparator will act as non-inverting and another as inverting. Let's say the VCC is 5 volt and I use three identical resistors. All resistance are 1K. So when the voltage reach more than lower V reference or one third of VCC, it will give output high. But when it's reach more than the upper V reference or two third of VCC, it will trigger the output to low again. So when voltage input reaches more than one third of five volt or about one point six volt, it will output high. But once the voltage input reaches more than two third of five volt or about three point three volt, it will go slow again. So the output only goes high when V input is between one third and two third of VCC. And here's the formula. Now let's get our hand dirty by start the experiment. In the real world, we need to power up the comparator IC and give the IC output and pull up resistor. So the schematic become like this. In this example, I will use an LM393 comparator IC. You can use another comparator IC too. Just read the datasheet. And this is the LM393 comparator IC pinout. You can google whatever pinout you need and should got a bunch of them. By seeing this pinout and schematic, now we can make the circuit in real practice using a breadboard. So let's get started. Right now, we don't really have the voltage input. And what we should use to make the input voltage? Yes, we can use a variable resistor or a trim pot to make an adjustable voltage easy. So I add a variable resistor at the comparator input. And to make easier for us to see if the output high or low, I will add an LED with a resistor to the comparator output at pin 1. So whenever the comparator output goes high, the LED will light up. And when it goes low, the LED will turn off. Don't forget to give the circuit power source. I use a 5V voltage source from an Arduino. You can use any adapter or 5V power source like phone charger or even lab power supply. Now when I rotate the trim port left, the voltage input at pin 3 of comparator will rise. And once past the voltage reference that is 2.5V, it will make the comparator output go high and light up the LED. But when I rotate back right the trim pot, it will turn on the LED as the voltage input drop to under the voltage reference. 
To make sure, we can measure the voltage input using voltmeter and see if the theory is true. Take a look closely at the voltmeter. I will rotate the turnpot slowly. Once the voltmeter measures the voltage more than 2.5V, the LED will begin to light up. But when I rotate back right and the voltage drop under the 2.5V, the LED will turn off. So that is our first experiment. How about if we want to turn on and off something more real like a fan or maybe an AC lamp? Yes, we can do that by add a relay to do that. I will connect the output of the comparator to an 2N3904 transistor with a 1K resistor so it can switch the relay on and off and here's the complete schematic. Now let's test that. Can you hear the click sound from relay? Yeah, that means relay is working. It's turned on and off as I adjust the voltage input by rotating the tripod. So now we can turn on and off anything since we can control this relay. We can control lamp, fan or huge fan, heater, pretty much everything you want to control. I soldered the middle relay pin because it's hard to fit this pin to the breadboard. For this example, I will try to control the fan using our comparator experiment. Now you can see the fan is turned on and off. To make us more satisfied, we can change the load to an AC load. I will use an AC lamp, but be careful, AC is deadly. You can get electrocuted, so make sure you understand what you do. Never touch the AC area. Now I will test this circuit and... It's working. Whenever I adjust the voltage input, it can control the AC lamp. Are you satisfied with this experiment? No? Okay. I will make a better real life application. So I will make the load turn on and off based on temperature. How can we do that? Can you guess how to make it without using microcontroller or Arduino? We can just use this basic electronic component. We can use an analog temperature sensor. In this case, I will use an LM35. Let's take a look at the datasheet. So the sensor will output 10 millivolt every degree Celsius. So for example, if the temperature is 30 degrees of Celsius, then the sensor will output 300 millivolt. Ok, so we can use the sensor as voltage input to replace the trampot. Then how we can make the voltage reference? 
Okay, to make it easy, we can use the trim port or variable resistor as a voltage reference. So, we can easily adjust the voltage reference. Let's try this schematic. Now, I will set the temperature threshold to 35 degrees of Celsius. I set the threshold by set the trim pad output to 350 millivolt. So, whenever the temperature reaches more than 35 degrees of Celsius, it will turn on the relay. We will try with a 220 volt AC lamp. To make this clearer, I will measure the voltage at LM35 output too. So, we know the temperature read by LM35. We can see that every voltage output of LM35 reads more than 350 millivolts or the temperature more than 35 degrees of Celsius, it will turn on the lamp. And when it's dropped under 350 millivolts, it will turn off the lamp. Now, I will change the load to a small fan. And it's work the same way. So, after we learn how comparator works, we can easily make a fan turn on and off based on temperature just using some basic electronics component without microcontroller or Arduino. How about inverting comparator and window comparator? Maybe we should do that on next video. And by the way, this is my first episode on electronics basic. I need your feedback. And if you think I should do more videos on electronics basic, please let me know by leave your comment below. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification so that you won't miss my new video and share this video to your friends. Bye!